It was very early on Sunday morning that residents of Marquita Avenue here in Dallas received either a knock on their door, a note through their letterbox, or a phone call, what they call a reverse 911 call from the authorities, with this chilling news. Please be advised that a healthcare worker who lives in your area has tested positive for the Ebola virus. Precautions are already in place to clean all known potential areas of contact to ensure public health. And now a day on, the decontamination barrels are here. The media has taken up camp on the other side of the road and that uh, apartment belonging to the nurse remains sealed off. That call certainly did create a sense of alarm. We spoke to one neighbour here who heard from a friend who was at a craft fair about 20 miles away when word spread of what people here were being told. There was mass hysteria. It quickly went from a call from the CDC to she has Ebola, she's supposed to be under quarantine and she left, she lives at the Ivy apartment. It just went crazy and people were literally running through the aisles, hysterical, in a total panic. Um, and that's nowhere near here. And it just shows kind of the level of there's misinformation, there's mistrust and there's massive fear. But the authorities say those reverse 911 calls are the most effective way to get the word out to neighbourhoods like this. And they've been used many times before during the hunt for the Boston Marathon bombers, during the Sandy Hook shooting rampage, during natural disasters and extreme weather. People here appear to accept it is a good tactic. Their questions are much more about whether the authorities here have got a handle on what's going on with Ebola and whether medical staff have got the equipment and training necessary to prevent this outbreak from going much, much further.